Hi guys, I'm back with an October favourite. I haven't done a favourite video in a while, but I've got a couple of things that I want to chat about. And yeah, so I'm going to get straight in it and start talking about some makeup. From a young age, I've always been into big, long lashes. Honestly, one of my favourite things to use before putting on my mascara and after, you know, curling my lashes is using the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. And I recently went to an event um, for Estee Lauder, a blogging event, and they gave me this for free and I am going to go back and repurchase this. It is so good. It is just incredibly good. It says that it's a tint, it amplifies and it sets. Um, so you can use this under your mascara or you can use it over your mascara to waterproof it. So it is so good. I've never actually thought about using an eyelash primer before. But I'm completely, completely obsessed by it. It gives my lashes some oomph to them. It makes them really, really long and it volumizes as well. Next favorite of mine is from Collection actually. So it's really inexpensive. It was around three or four pounds and it is a eyebrow powder um, that comes in a little applicator like this and what I love about this product is that the applicator makes it super easy to be precise of where you exactly want to put your powder it doesn't give you like whoa Instagram thick like eyebrows like you, do you know what I mean it gives a more of a natural looking eyebrow which I'm more into for like an everyday kind of look the only thing is is I suggest you get it in the color blonde one I know I'm not blonde I know, but if you've got a brown hair colour like mine, or you've got just brown hair, it's not that dark or whatever, I suggest that you buy this, because it does come out a bit dark. The other ones are really, really dark. It does something to your brows, I can't explain it. Like, it, it, it really helps to precisely put where you want to put it, if you've got, like, areas that are, like, bowl patches and stuff and like really fill it out quite nicely and yet make it look really natural so I 100% recommend this. No favourites would be complete without some lip products. I am a lipstick junkie, everyone knows this about me and I absolutely adore these two colours at the moment. It's my go-to colours, it's the ones that are always in my handbag. So the first colour is by NYX and it's one of their soft matte lip creams and it's in the colour Stoke Home. It's a really pretty pink colour and I don't usually wear that much like pinky... <sighs> I'm completely contradicting myself with what I just said because I'm just fully wearing pink today. But yeah, I'm not actually someone who wears a lot of pink but I just love this jacket. That's another thing that's a favourite of mine. But yeah, so this is a perfect pinky nude colour and it's so nice just to whack on. It was like my perfect go-to summer lips, lip, lippy when I was on holiday. But this colour is so nice. It's such a wearable colour and I think any skin tone can pull it off. So yeah, like completely feel like this is just a really pretty colour. The next one is by Gerard Cosmetics and it's one of their Hydra Matte uh, liquid lipsticks and this is in the colour Everything Nice. This is a very pretty brownie nude as well and it's a very light brown nude so I'd say more like a beigey colour and it's very very pretty for um, those times when you want to look extra 90s if you know what I mean with the choker and the bomber and you know the brown lipstick this is one of those beautiful colors and yeah i'm actually obsessed with this color it's my go-to autumn winter lip if you haven't tried gerard cosmetic lipsticks before like liquid lipsticks you're actually missing out i've got the colors 1995 i've got the color serenity and now the everything nice and literally they are so beautiful i 100 percent recommend them the next makeup find that I love and is like in my favourites because it is amazing um, is this sleek 
highlighter kit. Oh my god, just look at the package in itself. It's gold. Gold! I think loads of bloggers have been raving about this already, but I feel like it is so pretty, you guys. Look at those highlighters. Honestly, you've got a highlighter for your cheekbones, a highlighter for your nose. It's every highlighter that you would ever need is in this little quad pack. Obviously, you're not just going to buy them if you're like a makeup junkie, but yeah. It is so pretty. The colours are beautiful. It will make your cheeks pop, guys. You know, everyone likes a little pop in. Yeah, everyone likes a bit of that. <laughs> Next thing that I want to rave about is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And guys, it is so good. It is meant to be one of those foundations that last well in humidity. I know, I know, we're in autumn winter now, but when I was on a holiday, I tried and tested this out to see whether or not it will last, and it was really, really hot on holiday. When I was saying it was like 35 degrees at one point, literally I did not sweat off my makeup, it stayed on all day. It was perfect, and it's such a nice coverage. It's medium coverage to buildable, and it really is up there guys my shade is in the color 2.4 and it's meant to be oil free as well for those girls who have like oily skin this is perfect for them my actual skin is actually combination so it works well with dry skin it stays on all day i don't get any patches it doesn't cling on to any like dry patches either it's a really good solid foundation and it's a go-to of mine right now now for a makeup remover okay so you know that all the like micellar waters that you get or um, those makeup removers that you get well for eye makeup it's really difficult and really stubborn to get off your mascara and the mascara that I use is like quite tough anyway it's the it's a Maybelline one it's in the purple packaging everyone everyone loves that one it's just it's really good but anyway this is uh, um, the Nivea Daily Essentials Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover and it looks like that and it says that it's even good for removing waterproof mascara and makeup and honestly guys it just does the job with a nice cotton pad you can just rub it and all your mascara comes off so easily it's like a really really good makeup remover and I don't think I'll go back or find anything ever than this to go to so yeah this is the Nivea Daily Essentials and this was quite inexpensive as well I think it was around four pounds this next item is actually really really random but I don't care it's those hair bands that are like kind of twisty and they're like plastic and I heard that these hair bands don't kink your hair and obviously for girls with straight hair that's just really good for them like it doesn't kink it doesn't um get tangled in your hair and everything but for us curly girls no one actually said anything about these or told me anything about these so i thought i'll just try it out and see whether or not it'll kink my hair when i put it up because i like to rock a bun from time to time but when i do rock a bun it gives me a massive kink in the middle of my hair and I'm gonna have to like wash and restyle it again just to make it look back to normal and yes curly girls can have a kink in their hair as well it's not just girls with straight hair so I thought why not try this and actually I've been using these more than my big fluffy you know hairband that I use this big scrunchie that I use I've actually been using these a lot more now and I even ended up buying a lot more so um yeah literally i don't feel like when i take my hair out from the pineapple there's any kinks first of all second of all um when i'm wearing my hair in a bun honestly it doesn't you know what i mean it doesn't give all those kinks in your hair that you don't necessarily need also it doesn't actually get tangled up in my hair which made me think that these would rip out my hair but it doesn't as well so that's something as well that i love so i think if you've got curly hair you should definitely invest in these because it didn't do anything bad to my hair yet and literally it doesn't rip out any of my hair it doesn't leave any kinks and it keeps my hair up <laughs> what else do i need so it's actually quite nice and it stretches see so 
So this shit can definitely hold your hair, if you know what I mean. This shit can definitely hold that hair up, girl. It can definitely do it. If you are looking for a good camera and you don't want to invest in um, an SLR or the SLR is like too big and you want like a, a point, of sh point and shoot kind of camera, want to vlog, you're a vlogger even, and it's one of those cameras that um, you can easily put in your handbag and you can just point and shoot whenever you want and adjust the lighting well, this is the camera for you. So I bought the G7X Canon camera and... Oh, Oh my god, it's just so good. From a vlogging point of view, it is perfect. So it's got the flip out screen, so your selfies, you can vlog like that. You can you can take really nice pictures of you in in it as well. <laughs> It's got really nice functions, there's a time lapse tool on here, there's, it's just easy, it's small, it's compatible, um, it's just a really efficient camera and there's like a Wi-Fi button as well which you can connect to your devices to import like pictures and videos and stuff from here straight onto your device. Um, yeah, like, I love this camera so much. It's one of those buys that I am, I like, I completely do not regret. Um, it's the G7X Mark II. There is a Mark One, I, I think. And, yeah, this is just a newer version. The Mark One is also great, so, and it's a bit cheaper. But I thought I'd fully invest in a nice camera that I can use when I'm taking pics for my Instagram, that sort of thing. Or wanting to start to vlog because I do want to start to vlog because I don't know why I feel like I would love to like I don't know bring you in a lot closer to me but yeah this camera is amazing and I recommend 100% look into the tech I also love this little gadget right here like I said if you've got a camera if you've got a power shoot a SLR or whatever and you want a picture from your SLR, you want a picture from your camera, whatever. What it is, is an adapter which basically takes in a memory card here and plugs in straight into your iPhone like this and it imports all the media that you've got on here onto your iPhone or your iPad and then you can easily upload to Instagram or whatever you want to do. This little thing here is a lifesaver, it's just so handy to have um you don't want to be importing your pictures off your camera from your slr and from your point and shoot you just want to quickly put it in your iphone and then use some editing apps that you've got and then bam put it on your instagram the last two things are jackets one of them i actually wearing right now and the second one is the one that i've got in my hand so let's talk about this one this is a bomber jacket from bershka i bought it from when i went on holiday i went on holiday and i bought this from there it basically looks like this it is a great fit you guys it fits just at my waist it's like a cropped bomber jacket um what i love about this is that they've got really baggy arms and like really like casual kind of look so it's got baggy arms but then it's not baggy around your midriff so it doesn't make you look big that's why i love this jacket so much it's just really really trendy um it's just one of those staple pieces so it kind of looks like this it's got pockets, it's got, it's in this like really nice um, silky material, got silver zipped details on the arms as well as pockets as well. It's a jacket that I'm wearing at the moment. This is from Zara and I love the fit of this one because it's very different for me. Yeah, so I'm kind of wearing it as a, like a jacket top situation and 
But yeah, this is like a nice baggy fit as well. What I love about it is that it's pleated, as you can see here. It's got a big, massive, chunky zip as well. And I, I just love the detail of it. It's different. It's pink. I don't have a jacket that's pink. I usually go for like dark colours. So this is perfect for me. I think it's like a nice staple piece that um, you can like jazz up and up an outfit you can definitely make an outfit look glam with this you can make it look like something for um, going out or you can wear it casually so this is from Zara so this was actually $25.99 so that is it for my October favourites. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know that I've loved filming it for you guys. Please make sure to follow my social media. Follow my Instagram account, which is all that beauty jazz. It should be right here. Follow my Facebook, which should be right here. And also my Snapchat, which is that beauty jazz. It's right down here. So. If you follow these things, um, you can keep up to date with me on what I'm buying and what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Please let me know what you'd like to film next. Comment down below, let me know. Talk to me. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Mwah.